All right. So uh, today we're looking at something kind of different. Yeah. AI generated grunge. Okay. From 1993 Brazil. Wow. And that's uh, it's very specific. It is very specific. Yeah. We're talking about a band that never actually existed called Syncope. Okay. And we're going to be diving into their album, Luzes e Sombras, which means lights and shadows in Portuguese. Mm. All of our information for this deep dive comes from tatanka.site. Okay. Which, if you haven't checked it out, listeners, yeah. you are missing out. I've heard of it. Yeah. They're doing some really cool stuff over there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so they have lyrics, they have chapter summaries, because it is a concept album. Right. They even have some AI-generated commentary, which is a whole other... Yeah. What is up with that? I don't know, but we're gonna, we'll, we'll unpack that. All right. Um, so yeah. So this is like a fictional band, like they never actually existed. Yeah, so they're, like, they're completely yeah. imagined. Um, and the person who imagined them, his name's JJ. Mm -hmm. He's an American, always been drawn to Brazil. Okay. And he's been using AI to overcome some cognitive challenges he's been facing. Oh, wow. And to reconnect with his love of music. So it's interesting because it's like this cutting edge technology, mm -hmm. but it's also like a very human story behind it. Exactly. Yeah. And so picture this, okay? Okay. 1993, mm -hmm. Porto Alegre, Brazil. Yeah. The grunge scene is popping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and in walks Syncope. Okay. This band with Guarani roots. Interesting. Bringing that raw energy of grunge. Yeah. But it's infused with their culture yeah. and their experiences. I mean, that's fascinating. It's just musically, right? Like, yeah. What does that sound like? I know, right? Grunge and, and Guarani influences. Have you ever heard anything like that? I mean, I've never even thought about that combination before. So right. that's really interesting. And that's what makes this deep dive so interesting, right? Yeah. Um, and like I said, it's a concept album. So right. each song is like a chapter in a book. Oh, wow. It's meant to be experienced as a whole. Interesting. Which I really appreciate that. You yeah. Know? Like they had a vision. It's a lost art, the concept album. It really is. Yeah. Um, so some of the big themes that we're going to be looking at. Uh, urban isolation. Okay. Environmental angst. So like big, heavy themes. Yeah. Big grunge themes. Yeah. But told through this like really unique lens. Yeah. And and the Guaranis, like they're indigenous to South America, right? Right. Yeah. So their culture is already so different from like the typical grunge aesthetic. Like yeah. we think like Pacific Northwest, like Seattle. All animal. Yeah. Like, exactly. Like, like dark and rainy. Exactly. Which I mean, Brazil's got its fair share of rainforest. True. True. I bet, yeah. But it's a different vibe. It's totally different. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so to get into it, okay. The album starts off with Ferujem na Chuva, which means rust in the rain. Wow. And this song kind of sets the stage okay. for this feeling of being lost and forgotten in the city. So it's interesting because they're bringing that theme of like urban isolation right. we're talking about, but they're also kind of connecting it to the environment. Yeah. With the rain and the rust imagery. It's like the city's kind of swallowing them up. Yeah, like this unstoppable force. Yeah. It's interesting. And then you've got raíz de concreto, which means concrete roots. Okay. And it's like this image of trying to find strength mm -hmm. and resilience in this like really harsh urban environment. So they're searching for those roots. Yeah. But they can only find concrete. Which, I mean, how powerful is that? Yeah, it's a really striking image. And just those titles alone. Right. They tell you so much about the music. Yeah, rust in the rain, concrete roots. Right. It's like you can already feel the mood. Yeah, and it seems like JJ and the AI were very deliberate in choosing titles that would just, like, yeah. grab you. Yeah. Like, Seu Negrecido. Which means? Blackened sky. Ooh. Or Cordas Quebradas. Asas partidas. What does that mean? Broken strings, broken wings. Oh, wow. Like, come on. That's heavy. You know? Yeah. They're not messing around. No. Um, But before we jump into, like, the lyrics themselves, mm -hmm. I'm curious about this collaboration mm -hmm. between JJ and Aurorier of Entre. Yeah. How does that work? Yeah. Like, how much of the music is him? Right. How much of the music is the AI? Did he give her, like, lyrics to work with? or? I don't know. Yeah. How does that work? a good question yeah and thankfully yeah taka dot site they thought of it they have some information about this awesome so from what i gather okay it seems like jj provided like the framework okay the story he wanted to tell mm -hmm. maybe some musical direction okay and then aurora ventre took over interesting generating the actual music and lyrics and so she's like taking his ideas yeah and like fleshing them out it's wild yeah it's wild 
So is that true collaboration? Right. Is the AI just a tool? Yeah. Like, what do you even call that? I don't know. It's definitely blurring some lines. For sure. And that's something that I think we're going to be grappling with as we keep going through this deep dive. Okay. Because it's like, is this just a really advanced instrument? Right. Or is this something totally different? Like, where does the AI end yeah. and JJ begin? Exactly. Yeah. Wow, that's a good question. Yeah. It's a lot to think about. Yeah. But I think... To really wrap our heads around it, yeah, we got to actually listen to some music. Let's do it. Now the lyrics are in Portuguese. Of course, yeah. Which might seem like a barrier, but thankfully, the Tenkadot site provided translations. Awesome. So they always come through. They do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so what's really interesting about this music is that it captures that classic grunge sound. Yeah. But it's still undeniably Brazilian. Okay. It's kind of hard to describe. I'm intrigued, yeah. But yeah, so one of the lines from Farragam Natuva that really stood out to me okay. in the translation, it says, The world changes, and I feel like I don't belong. A stranger in the world, that changes without end. Wow, that's like classic grunge right there. Right. That feeling of alienation. But there's something about the way that it's phrased okay. that feels very... Brazilian, almost. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't know if that makes sense. No, it does. It's like they took that grunge feeling yeah. and filtered it through oh. a different cultural lens. Exactly. Yeah. All right, so we've got evocative song titles. Yeah. We've got these heavy themes. We've got AI composing music. Mm -hmm. Let's get into the rest of this album. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> so we talked about Farragam Natuva setting the scene. Yeah, like this feeling of being lost in the city. Right, and then you've got Rice is the Concreto, Concrete Roots. Where they're trying to find some sort of grounding. Yeah, trying to plant their roots, so to speak. But it's all concrete, right? Right. Exactly. It's like they're surrounded by this harsh, unforgiving environment. And that's such a powerful image, I think. Oh, absolutely. It's like yeah. that feeling of being trapped, you know. Totally, like the city's closing in on you. Exactly, and you're trying to find something to hold on to, but there's nothing there. Except concrete. Right. And then it's like, boom, so in a gracito, black and sky. Oh, man. Things get even heavier. Yeah. That title does not sound optimistic. No, not at all. It's like uh, this feeling of despair starts to creep in. And this is where those environmental themes really come through. Right? Yeah, absolutely. It's like they're looking up at the sky and seeing the damage that's been done. Pollution, deforestation, all of that. Yeah, all of it. And it's like this feeling of, is it too late? You know? Man, that's heavy stuff. It is, but it's also incredibly powerful. Oh, for sure. And again, those song titles. Right. They're so evocative. They just grab you. They really do. It's like you don't even need to hear the music to get a sense of what the song is about. Okay, so we've got Rust in the Rain. We've got Concrete Roofs. We've got this blackened sky. And then we get to Cordas Quebradas Esas Partidas. Which means? Broken Strings, Broken Wings. Oh, wow. And this is where we really see the protagonists struggling, you know. Yeah, they're broken down. They've lost their way. Exactly. It's that classic grunge feeling of despair and isolation. But again, it's filtered through this Gorani lens, right? Right, exactly. It's not just about feeling lost and alone in the city. It's also about feeling disconnected from nature, from their culture. From their roots. Exactly. So there's like a whole other layer of loss. Exactly. Wow, this is deep. And it's about to get even deeper. Oh, no. How much deeper can it go? Well, let's just say that Sinza's Namare and Osos Escasidos don't exactly lighten the mood. Ashes in the Tide and Forgotten Bones. Yeah, those are some heavy titles. Uh, pretty bleak. So it's like they're getting pulled further and further down. Yeah, it's like a descent into darkness. But there's got to be some light at the end of the tunnel, right? Well, there's a glimmer of hope with Ikosne Escuridown, Echoes in the Darkness. Okay, so maybe a little bit of light. Yeah. What happens in the echoes? It's like a voice calling out from the void, urging the protagonist to look inward to find their own strength. Okay, but do they listen? Well, that's the question, right? Like, Sonhos Despedazado's Shattered Dreams, it suggests a willingness to fight, but it acknowledges the challenges ahead. Yeah, Shattered Dreams doesn't exactly sound like a walk in the park. No, not at all. It's like they're picking up the pieces, trying to put themselves back together. So are they able to? Do they find a way out of the darkness? It's tough to say. The next track, Disapparacendo Disappearing, suggests they might be fading away. Oh, wow. So it's like that fear of just completely losing yourself? Yeah, like becoming nothing but a ghost. 
That's heavy stuff. It is, and the music reflects that too. It's dark, it's intense, it's like being pulled under. So they're disappearing, they're fading away. What happens next? Well, that's where things take an interesting turn. Perdido na neblina. Lost in the fog. It's like the darkness lifts, but now there's this disorienting fog. So they're still lost, but it's different now, right? Exactly. It's not about the city anymore. It's about being lost within themselves. Lost in their own thoughts, their own confusion. Exactly. Like they're wandering through a maze of their own making. Man, that's a powerful image. And it leads to what I think is one of the most important chapters of the album, Phantasmas du Passado, Ghosts of the Past. Okay. So they're confronting their demons. Yeah. All those past traumas that have been haunting them. The things that led them down this dark path in the first place. Exactly. It's like they're finally facing the root of their pain. So are they able to escape the ghosts? I think that's the question we're all left with at the end of the album. It culminates with Corso and Sombrado, Haunted Heart, and it doesn't offer any easy answers. So even though they confront their past, the haunting remains. Yeah, it's like they've come to terms with the fact that some wounds never fully heal. That's deep. But there's also a sense of hope, right? Oh. Like they're learning to live with their haunted heart to find some measure of peace within the struggle. I see what you mean. It's not a fairy tale ending. It's real. It's raw. It's honest. Exactly. And the fact that an AI helped create this incredibly human story. It makes you think, doesn't it? It really does. Like, what are the limits of AI? Can it truly understand and express human emotion? Or is it just a really good mimic? It's a question I don't think we have the answer to. Not yet, at least. But it's definitely something worth pondering. Absolutely. So for our listeners, if you're as fascinated by this as we are. And I imagine you are. Head over to tatanka.site. Check it out. They've got the full album, Loses y Sombras by Syncope. Don't forget those chapters, Summary. They'll walk you through the whole story. It's an experience you won't soon forget. This deep dive has left me with a lot to think about. The power of AI, the nature of creativity, and the enduring spirit of grunge, even in the most unexpected places. It just goes to show that music can come from anywhere and surprise you when you least expect it. That's a great note to end on. Until next time, keep exploring, keep listening, and keep diving deep.